Hi, and welcome back to Matilda's Messes, and welcome to my bedroom. Uh, my bedroom basically is a room throughout my entire life that I have totally trashed. And I just made it a dumping ground of things because the bedroom is a private place and it's people where, it's places where people don't tend to intrude on, don't tend to go into, but the older I'm getting, the more I'm realizing bedrooms are supposed to be a restful place. You're not supposed to have a lot of clutter in the bedroom. You're not supposed to have a lot of stressful things in the bedroom that are preventing you from going to sleep. So I decided once and for all, I was gonna reorganize, clean, donate, pretty much do everything to clean the bedroom up and to make it more organized and much more restful for me and my boyfriend. So I decided I was not only going to reorganize but redecorate as well, put in some new colors, some new uh, paintings, new things here and there, take out some old things here and there, and it basically feels like a whole new room now. Um, just with the small changes that I've made, uh, you can see how my bedroom used to like look like, and then you'll see what it looks like now. So I hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to subscribe, subscribe. So here we go. Me redoing my bedroom. So as you can see, my room was a total wreck. But up next, you'll see the steps I took. First step was taking everything out of the bedroom that you see in here that isn't furniture. I found these vases at Michael's along with the spring florals. They were both half off. I decided they would be a lovely colorful touch to the dresser. I also got a bigger container for all of Tui's handkerchiefs, ties, cufflinks, watches, basically anything he needs for finishing touches of his outfits. He had outgrown the smaller one that I had gotten him a few years back. Also, the antique Rococo Baroque couple that you saw from my last video, my vintage haul, um, I put that next to the little valet station I set up for Tui. And then also the aromatherapy humidifier, I put it on the other corner. And then lastly, I decided to add a candle that I found at Home Goods. It smells like warm tobacco. And I also added my vintage 50s jewelry box. I had found some curtains uh, at world market for half off so I went ahead and bought those very very light more for filtering light rather than keeping it out and then I found this curtain rod set very lightweight also at home goods perfect for when you don't want to leave huge holes in the walls when you're renting
these little pet paintings that I found were $25 each at Home Goods. I got one for Tichaba. It looks a little bit like her. And I also got another one uh, for Izzy, or Corgi. And though it's not the same coloring as her, I still thought it was really cute to put it above the area that she actually sleeps in. And it also balances out uh, the bedside of the bedroom. I found these pillowcases at World Market as well. I thought they were just really cute and we needed more pillowcases anyways. The bedspread is a bedspread that you can find at Ikea. It comes in three different colors. It comes in like a purple color, silver, and I believe also a black color. The throw pillow that looks like marble I found at World Market as well, also half off. And I decided to add some of my childhood uh, little stuffed animals in the center just for a little more personalization. And the pink throw blanket that I have on the bottom there is also from World Market. It's a very pretty dusty rose color. I also got that for half off. And that is it. My bedroom is done. I just added a couple of candles and cleaned off all surfaces of any clutter. Izzy's little sleeping area is all organized and she's able to sleep in it now. The vanity, I kept the same. I just cleaned it. The wall looks a little more balanced with the extra paintings on the sides and the vanity seems a little more complete with the pink rug that I got from Target. And the curtains are perfect in the room uh, for our big window that lets in the most light during the day. And I am really loving the dresser and how it looks now. Before we had a TV on there that we never really plugged in, so I went ahead and stored the TV and replaced everything on the dresser with things that were much more useful or great for decoration.